Okay guys, this is for those of you who have seen my previous video on how to eliminate the AC hum noise from audio systems that have a pre-amplifier and definitely a, a turntable connected to it. And I'm just going to demonstrate what I mean for those who are not familiar with this issue. So if I crank the volume up now, so you can hear an audible noise and this is caused by the um, AC current or rather AC power supply running at 50 Hertz and the entire system isn't earth so let me go ahead and explain a couple of things so first of all we've got here a, a project phono box so at the moment this is being powered by an 18 volts switching mode power supply which is right here and this is the one that comes with with the unit now this power supply looks something like this but this is a different one but that one is 18 volts and basically as you can see it's a two pin power supply so it's uh, it isn't earthed and that means the uh, phone box isn't grounded now this amplifier um, and the DAC here, these have um, what, do you, what we call captive cables, captive power cords, so the power cords can't be replaced and they are two pin power cords, so as you can see there's no earth connection so that means this entire system is running on what we call a floating ground so it isn't actually connected to earth but it's running on a floating ground system so another characteristic of um, an AC system that isn't earth is if you move your hands over um, whether it's plastic or metal bits preferably metal bits like like the front you can feel a bit of a vibration and that that vibration is the uh, 50 hertz AC cycle um, going backwards and forwards and you can feel this vibration here right so once again we have a problem now where we have AC hum okay so just to recap of my previous video, I made a solution where we can earth the phono box by running a strip of wire, uh, a thin piece of wire from the uh, ground plug to the earth, um, the earth pin of a three pin socket. So I, what I did was I took um, a, a bare three pin plug. If you imagine this being a, a three pin plug, which you can open and Y up and all I did was I, I connected a very thin black wire to the earth pin of that plug and that earth wire would then terminate at the the, uh, the ground screw that we can see right at the back. I'm gonna get a bit of light here just so everyone can see what I mean. Okay so when you look at any uh, pre system you find a ground lock here okay so this set of cables here on the right this come from the turntable so this is the input and this this pair of cables are the output so this this ground cable connects to the body of the tone arm on the on the turntable so there's actually three cables running from every turntable. You find three cables running. You find the RCA left and right and the ground cable running from the turntable to your preamplifier. Okay, now, so the turntable is grounded at the moment, but it's not earth. So it's running on a floating ground. And once again, if I move my hand over this metal box here, I can feel it, the, uh, the vibration. So one solution was to run an earth cable from the ground lock to the... Uh, to a, a, a blank a power you know, power plug, 3 pin power plug. Right, now I'm going to explain two other uh, solutions that are a bit more expensive and uh, depending on the situation, but it, it it's a lot more elegant, I, I, I think, I believe. So um, the first alternative solution is to replace this power supply for the phono box with what we call a linear power supply so if you get a linear power supply 
um, make sure, and a lot of them are, are earthed um, power supplies, but make sure they are actually earthed. Make sure that the body of the power supply is metal and that the earth pin from the uh, C13 uh, power receptacle actually connected to, to the earth of the uh, transformer within the unit and the body itself. Now, I'll show you some pictures right now on some examples of these earth power supplies. Now, unfortunately, the problem with this is this phono box runs on 18 volts, as I mentioned earlier, and 18 volts power supply are very, very rare. Um, it's what, just one of those uh, voltage that um, that is seldom in use. So I, I guess the only option, or, or rather the best way to find such a power supply is to go with Chinese sellers. If you go on, um, on eBay or preferably AliExpress and you search for 18 volts linear power supply, you you will find that some people make them specifically for project pre-amplifiers and just get one of those. Um, so if you use one of those, then what happens is because the body of the, the power supply itself is earth, that means the negative um, the negative wire that comes out of it. So imagine this, this outer part here is normally connected to the negative and the inner part is connected to the positive. If we can just confirm that here. Yep. So with most power supplies, the outer part of the uh, connector is negative. So anyway, with a linear earth power supply, the negative terminal itself is earth. Remember that negative terminal itself is earth, which means that in turn, it will earth the phono box preamplifier and that will get rid of this AC hump completely. So you won't hear this problem. Okay, so that's the first solution. Now the other solution is, in my case, I was just fortunate because I happen to have an old CD transport that I used to play CDs occasionally. Now this is a transport, this is not a player. So at the back of this, there are a couple of different options on how to send a digital signal from, from the transport to, to the DAC. Now, I have gone with using the uh, coaxial toslink option instead of optical. And the reason for that is, thankfully, this unit has a, a, a grounded and um, an earth power supply built in. So I'm not, not going to remove this now, but the, 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 the main cable that runs into this is a 3-pin C13 connector, the same as what you get in your, your computers and stuff. Uh, some people call it cattle lead, but they're all the same. And the body of this entire unit is earth because it's connected to that, um, be, you know, the, because it's connected to the earth pin of that connector, which is then connected to the 3-pin power plug. So the next thing, so, so sorry, with that in mind, right here's how it works now. So that means if we look at this cable that I've unpacked, this is the RCA coaxial digital cable from the uh, transport. At the moment it's unplugged, which is why we have the AC hum and we have this vibration here that I can feel. So I'm just gonna connect this right now to the, uh, the amplifier. So let me find the connector, there we go. Okay. Mm, have I connected it correctly? Yes. So as we can see, digital audio in, and there are three optical inputs and one coaxial. So now that the uh, coaxial cable is connected, it means that the entire system is earthed through that coaxial cable. So remember, what's happening now is this unit's earth, and that is actually earthing this entire system along with the um, pre-amplifier now so so now i no longer feel the ac kind of vibration when i slide my hand over this and more importantly when i crank the volume up 
there's no more harm coming out of the speakers. Okay, so I was quite um, quite thankful that um, I actually have an appliance connected to the system that is Earth, which means that I no longer have to use the workaround that I made in my previous video. Now, if you're in interested in watching that, I've also linked that much older video in the description. Thanks for watching.